Hey, welcome back. And I'm going to have to repeat what I said in the last video. And thank you so much to all the new subscribers. As it currently stands, 994. I I'm just amazed. Please, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Really make, means a lot to me. We did the tail tidy last time, and I said after the service, we're going to be changing the exhaust, putting the fuel dongle on, and this is what we're going to do. So let's get on with it. So we've got the wings exhaust, pretty much the same setup as I did on the uh, 701. We've got the CRT Euro 5 fuel optimizer stroke dongle that uh, fits in between the main harness and the CO2 sensor, the lambda sensor. Then we've got a nice t-shirt, got some destructions and stickers. I believe that's a link pipe. The exhaust, bracket. It's already got a baffle in there. That is gonna be more than enough. If it's anything like the 701, that is enough. I wouldn't recommend running one of these without the baffle, because it's absolutely horrendously noisy. They also recommend not running it without a baffle. One link pipe, another baffle, a bolt, and some lube. Now you put this lube on, on the bracket, which uh, eases uh, fitment. So without further ado, let's get this swapped out. Okay, don't know really where to start, but I'm gonna start taking these panels off. Right, so we've undone that panel. I'm watching this top clip. And that just slides straight out. So we've got the fix in there and the clamp. The clamp is a 45, Torx 45. Right, so we get the uh, the gasket off the other exhaust, off the original exhaust. Just notice the little word up. I'm assuming that means up. <clears throat> so let's put it in that position. Try and get these clamps back on. Please feel free to comment if there is an easier way of doing this. A bit late now, I've already done it, but just in case for future reference. It's a little bit more awkward because trying not to get uh, my hands in the way. Okay. This was a bugger on the uh, 720. 720? 701. You squeeze that in there enough to get it through. So I took the bracket off there, off the fuel tank, and then I'm going to fit this. Don't forget, you get two top hats in there. Don't lose those. And then see if I can get it on that way. Might make it a little easier. Well, after that little bit of a fight on my hands, I found it easier to undo that bracket that's on the fuel tank. Take it off, take the silencer off and assemble it separately. Then pop it back on. Everything loose, obviously. After that little pain in the ass, we're going to go and fit the dongle. So, as I've just shown you, the exhaust is all buttoned up, all bolts are nice and tight, clamp and uh, clamp on there. So now, I don't know if you'll be able to see down there, but just here, 
That's the O2 sensor. So you've got to follow the cable up. It's just under here, along there, to, there we go, that block there. Apologies for the wobbly camera. So we need to undo that there. It should. There's a clip there. Should we have to just lift that? And it pops out. So this just slots in between. So we get it the right way. Fits in there. And the other end. Fits in there. It's a tight fit. And then should be able to accommodate it back in that little space there. And that's the fuel dongle fit. Now, when I did the uh, Husky, it fired straight up, didn't get any ECU lights, uh, mill light or anything like that. But it's possible you do. Um, if I remember rightly, you're meant to run them for 15 minutes. So hopefully we won't have any mill lights. Well, that's sounding pretty good. I can't rev it too much because it's actually getting late at night. And I'll only have the neighbours moaning. So let's get on and put the plastics back together. Well, that's it, that's the exhaust done and the fuel dongle done. All buttoned up, all back to normal. No mill light as it stands with that quick uh, quick start, but I can't really give it much tonight. It's too, uh, it's too late, so we'll have to give it a run in the morning. As always, thanks for watching. I really appreciate all the new subscribers. Take care, ride safe.